today we will study part 4 of chapter 4 traditional logic <clears throat> in this chapter we are going to study deductions deductions are those forms of immediate inferences in which from a given proposition we deduce another proposition differing from it in subject predicate or in both the truth of the conclusion is implied by the truth of the premise that is if the premise is true then the conclusion is also true and if the conclusion is false then the premise is false there are seven kinds of deductions out of which two are fundamental that is conversion and aversion conversion will be studying in detail conversion is a process of immediate inference in which the predicate term of the premise becomes the subject term of the conclusion and the subject term of the premise becomes the predicate of the conclusion thus in conversion the subject term and the predicate term are interchanged the original proposition that is the premise is called the convertent and the inferred proposition that is the conclusion is called converse now we will be studying the rules of conversion the rule of quality the quality of the converse that is the conclusion must remain the same as the original proposition that is the premise if the premise is affirmative then the conclusion must be affirmative and if the premise is negative then the conclusion must be negative second rule is that the rule of distribution it states that no term is distributed in the converse that is in the conclusion unless it is distributed in the original proposition that is premise if a term is undistributed in the premise then it must remain undistributed in the conclusion now we come to the table that is if the given proposition and its converse the given proposition is called convertent and its converse so if the given proposition is a proposition where the words may be used all every any always each whoever whatever etc and the symbolic form suppose is all ssp then its converse will be i where the symbolic form also will change as well as the subject and the predicate terms will get interchange so we'll have the converse as some p is s now if we have an e proposition where the words used are no not a single not even one never none not at all and in this table suppose if we have the given proposition as no ssp then the converse of e will remain e only the subject and predicate will get interchange so the converse will be no p is s now we come to i proposition where the words used are some a few many mostly several often generally and frequently if the uh, given proposition is some s is p then uh, the converse of i will remain i and only the subject and predicate will change get interchange so we'll have converse as some p is s now in the case of o proposition the words used are few rarely scarcely hardly and seldom you are suppose the given proposition is hardly s is p then the converse of o is not possible you have to remember this table when you solve converse exercise now you have to note that converse of a proposition is a only when it is a definition or where 
the proposition is a denotative proposition that is where the subject and predicate denote each other otherwise the converse of a is i proposition now let us take an example man is a rational animal this is a definition so converse of a will remain a your the subject is man and ra uh, rational animal is the predicate so that's that gets interchanged in the conclusion the subject man will become the predicate and the rational animal which is the predicate will become the subject in the conclusion so we'll have the converse of a as a which will be rational animal is man now we come to the second example the small article in the newspaper is a nice article this is a denotative proposition because your the subject term small article is denotes the predicate term nice article so they are denoting each other and so converse of a will remain a and here only the subject and predicate will interchange the small article which is the subject becomes the predicate in the conclusion and which is the predicate nice article will become the subject in the conclusion and we'll have the proposition as the nice article in the newspaper is a small article now we come to the third example all metals are heavy your the word all is used so it's an a proposition and converse of a is i because it is a general proposition and your the symbolic form will change to some p is s because your the subject and predicate is going to interchange the subject of the given proposition is metals and the predicate of the given proposition is heavy so after interchanging we will have some heavy things are metals now here the metals becomes the predicate of the conclusion and heavy becomes the subject of the conclusion now fourth no doctors are engineers your no is used so it's an e proposition and uh, your converse of e remains e so the symbolic form will remain the same now only the subject and predicate will get interchanged the subject of the given proposition is doctors and the predicate is engineers and here they will get interchanged and we'll have the converse as no engineers are doctors now if we come to the fifth one some houses are big your some is the word used so it's an i proposition your the sub uh, uh, converse of i remains i and your the subject is houses and predicate is big so they get interchanged and we get the converse as some big monuments are houses houses are monuments so we have to write their monuments now six some vegetables are not leafy here the words used are some not so it's an o proposition and we know that converse of o is not possible now we come to the seventh that is every teacher is qualified here the word every is used it is an a proposition the subject of this is a uh, teacher and predicate is qualified and we know that it is a general proposition so the converse will be i and uh, subject uh, the symbolic form will change to some and also the subject and predicate will get interchanged so we'll have the proposition as some qualified persons are teachers now we come to the eighth not even one animal is wild here it's an the uh, words used are not even one so it's an e proposition and the converse of e will remain e but the subject and predicate will get interchanged your the subject is animal and the predicate is wild so they will get interchanged in the conclusion and we'll have not even one wild being is animal then we come to the ninth one a few cats are white your a few is used so it's an i proposition and converse of i remains i so only the subject and predicate will change not the symbolic form so a few will remain a few only only cats is the subject and white is the predicate so they will get interchanged that we'll have converse as 
a few white animals are cats now we come to the 10th one hardly children are naughty your hardly word is used so it's an o preposition and converse of o preposition is not possible then we come to the 11th one any exam is difficult your the word any is used so it's an a preposition if it is a general proposition then converse of a is i so it, the symbolic form will change to some and also the subject and predicate will interchange that is we will have the proposition uh, here the subject is exam and difficult is the predicate so let us write its converse some difficult things are exams now we come to the 12th one not a single fruit is a flower here not a single is used so it's an e proposition the converse of e will remain e so the symbolic form remains the same but the subject and predicate will interchange the subject is fruits and the predicate is flower so they get interchange and we'll have the converse as not a single flower is a fruit then 13th one several books are thick several is used in this proposition so it's an i proposition then converse of i remains i so the symbolic form will remain the same only the subject and predicate will interchange books is the subject thick is the predicate so we'll have the converse as several thick things are books 14th few voters are present your few is used so it's an o proposition and converse of o proposition is not possible now we come to the 15th one children are always players this is an a proposition because always word is used in it and converse of a if it is a general proposition will be i so the symbolic form changes either you can use the word some or you can use the word often and the subject and predicate interchanges the subject of the given proposition is children and the predicate is players so they get interchanged and we'll have the converse as i players are often children or you can also write some players are children now we can come to 16th men are never immortal never word is used so it's an e proposition converse of e remains e the symbolic form remains the same only the subject and predicate are interchanged men is the subject immortal is predicate so they are interchanged now so we get immortal beings are never men now 17 trees are generally tall your generally word is used so it's an i proposition converse of i remains i so the symbolic form remains the same only the subject and predicate are interchanged trees is the subject tall is the predicate so we'll have converse of i as i tall things are generally trees then we come to the 18th rarely students study this is word used is rarely so it's an o proposition and we know that converse of o proposition is not possible now we come to the 19th all stones are not precious here the word all and not is used so it's an o proposition and we know that converse of o proposition is not possible 20th a few lessons are not easy your a few and not is used so it's again an o proposition and we know that converse of o proposition is not possible so in this chapter we have learned deductions and in which we have studied conversion in detail thank you